G'day boys and girls, it's uh, Mitch Robinson here again. We're in the next episode of the SAS now. I really apologise for how long it's been. Um, there was a massive push at the end to try to get this car finished before King of the Strip. Unfortunately it didn't happen, but that's the way things go. But I'm going to run through the rest of the build. Um, we actually got the car 99.9% .9 done. So the only thing I'm waiting for now is a new converter for the gearbox because that sort of failed on me on the first drive. Um, but I'll get to that later in the video. So, thank you for watching, here we go. So to get started, we're actually gonna jump in right at the other end of the car. Um, I got a little bit bored of doing the front, sort of had everything mocked up, and I really needed to get some stuff going in the back or I wasn't gonna get this car done, so I got straight on the four link. Um, basically, my four link setup is a GQ rear end. We built a diff center from a couple that we had. Um, so it's got a good LSD and a four one gear ratio to match the 80 series diff. And I built my own four link geometry, four link links, um, and the housing. So the housing used to be an airlocked GQ patrol diff. We've uh, welded a new pumpkin on, so it's the high pinion pumpkin with a higher oil fill. I've got to put a new bung in it at some point, so I don't, don't have to put quite as much oil in, so it's at the right height. Um, that was just to get rid of the little air locker puck on the side, or vacuum locker puck on the side. Um, put a truss on it, did my own link tabs, and I've still yet to brace it, so I'm probably going to pull the diff back out the car now that I have a bit of time up my sleeve, just some weekend, and, and finish bracing that. Um, the links are actually MB tubing, so it's 40 MB tube with some 32 MB slid inside, I matched the size, it's perfect, um, had to machine a little bit off the outside, tapped them in, welded my welding buns on the end, and then Himes each end. So you'll see that in the upcoming clips, um, just a little montage of slapping the four-link together. So after that little montage, you can see that's the housing build. Um, I then proceeded to build some coil towers in the back of the cab, exactly like the front. I had to come real high to get the proper up travel of the, of the car that I wanted. Um, so I built a frame across the old panard beam that ran between the two rails. For fuck's sake, Roxy. Fucking dogs. Um, anyway, so built the built the coil towers in the rear of the car. Um, had to cut a ginormous hole in the back, so that's still got to get panelled in now before I get the car engineered. Um, the fuck do you want? Go. Diff bumps out nearly all the way to the chassis, but I'm sort of restricted on the wheel arches, so one day I might tub them. 
Um, but yeah, you can see I uh, did the tube work in the back, made the coil over towers, um, still get to mount the reservoirs and panel it in, but that's all to come in the future. I just wanted the car rolling and driving for now. Now that the four link was done, I had to get back onto the front. I wanted that thing completely done because I knew I still had a fair bit of work left. So I made a spice and pan art. It's actually 130 mil longer than a factory 80 series one. Um, had to extend it. I used a GU Patrol push end, um, which I talked about in the last video. So that's super long now. It has real good geometry. And I think the diff only moved the total of, I think it was 14 millimeters left to right, um, total bump and total, uh, total droop. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, then had to do my GU steering link. It was just long enough with it extended a little bit. So I might make an alley one in the future uh, with Himes and double shear. But for now, it's still getting me young. And now that I had all the steering links and everything made and the panard, I knew that I had to clear the sump. I had a 1KZ sump for it, which are usually pretty good for solid axle cars. But unfortunately, because of how high my diff bumps, and I think because of the Prado being a lower engine, slightly than a highlight, so about 50 mil, um, I had to take quite a lot of that out. So you can see in the next clip, I cut nearly the whole front section out, sectioned it, welded it back in, and then popped it to the side. And I've actually ended up with about 500 mil more oil capacity. So some people were worried about me losing some, but I really didn't. I had to build a custom oil pickup to suit, which I'll have to throw some photos in of it. Um, that was a real prick to do. It actually ended up hitting the crank on the first start, and I was fuming. I was ready to burn the whole car, but um, we got that sorted. Uh, that all works now, so I'm happy with that. So as you can see, there's been quite a lot of work done on the car by now. Um, it's pretty much a whole rolling chassis. Everything worked. I ended up throwing the gearbox in. Uh, this happened a few weeks before King of the Strip. I'm going back in time a fair bit now. It was, um, this was obviously a few weeks ago. I've been super lazy on making videos. But that was all sorted. Gearbox in, had to plumb it all. I probably spent, I don't even want to add it up in plumbing uh, from Hydrolink and a couple other race shops. New fuel lines for the whole way in the car because I had to convert to a single tank. Um, there's so many things behind the scenes that I haven't really been able to film or show because it's just it's a ridiculous amount of work to try filming as well. It's just working by myself. I was doing mega, mega days. I was doing about 10 hours of work and then going to the shed that night, working till midnight in the last couple of weeks before getting the strip to try and get ready. Um, unfortunately, it didn't pay off, which is pretty sad, but um, I'm hoping to do diesel assault uh, in December. Now that all the heavy fabrication work was done, it was just time to paint everything. So I'll throw some clips in now, I'm just doing the finishing touches of the car.
that's where we are. We've got a fully assembled, running, driving, uh, solid axle swap than four lane Prado. Um, it was a lot of work to get there and I've got so much more to do. The gearbox is out of the car right now, like I said earlier, so we can get the new converter sorted for it because the people that built it originally fucked up. Um, that's a different story, I don't really want to get into it. So once we get that back in, I'll definitely be making some videos of me driving it and finishing it off. I've still got the hydro bumps to put in. Um, still got to do the panel work in the cab. Got to sort out the interior work around the shifter. And then once that's sorted, we'll be right at the tracks, beating on the car exactly how it should be treated. So I'll throw a couple videos in of it now. I've got some new beadlock wheels for it. And we'll end on a high note and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.